Fox tonight. When you hear about a parent dealing with the death of a child, you think about how difficult, even impossible, the road ahead will be for them. But one mother here in the Valley has experienced that grief, that pain twice, but says that she is able to connect with her children in the afterlife, and she believes everyone can do the same. Here's her story. I sense him all the time. We'll always be together. It has been seven years since Elizabeth Boisson last saw her son Morgan, but she still feels his presence every day. He's always with me. These are some of the albums we put together after Morgan passed. This is Morgan's, it was his megaphone. A high school football player turned University of Arizona cheerleader. Morgan died while on a trip to the base camp of Mount Everest with some fellow students. They went up way too quickly and all of the kids were very sick. But no one realized just how sick the altitude was making him until it was too late. At 9 o'clock in the morning, they couldn't wake him up. They got him on the bus and then he stopped breathing. That's when Elizabeth got the devastating phone call. Mrs. Boisson, I, don't, I really have bad news. I don't think that Morgan is going to make it. And I said, Colin, could you put the phone up to his ear? I really need to speak to him. I told Morgan that we were proud of him, that we loved him, and not to be afraid. As unimaginable as it would be to lose a child, Elizabeth has been through this before. I've already had a child who passed. She was two days old. Her heart, already softened from that loss, made her surprisingly calm as she absorbed the news. And as Morgan slipped away into bed, Something magical happened to Elizabeth thousands of miles away in Arizona. I just felt him a few seconds later just hug me from the inside. And it was something that I couldn't be sad with this uplifting way that this wave of, of love that came over me. She called it a visit from Morgan. And she says those same visits continue to this day. From the minute that this happened, I, whenever I got sad, I would feel him hugging me from the inside and making sure that I could still move forward. So Elizabeth set out to change how parents grieve by starting Helping Parents Heal, a support group to help parents connect with their deceased children. He told me that I was going to be starting this group and I started it a week after he passed. I know that people can heal from having a child pass. As Elizabeth was helping parents heal across town, psychic medium Suzanne Wilson was looking for a workspace to rent. Little did these women know their lives were about to converge. A friend of mine told me about a yoga studio that had a room for rent. The yoga teacher didn't know what I did. I was trying to explain it. She said, here, look at this photo. Tell me what you see. She gave her this picture. It was a Christmas card. It was a photo of Morgan and his two sisters. She saw Morgan shouting through a megaphone on a mountaintop, I'm OK. Then she saw a black box up to his ear, heard everything that I said, and he loved me back. She saw a band of brothers. It was his two other roommates that actually stayed. The yoga teacher didn't know if anything I was telling her was accurate, so she wrote it all down and called Morgan's mom. And she said, you would have thought that Morgan was in the room with me as she was saying these things. One of the boys had a rock. Suzanne drew, drew the shape of it. Colin brought that rock back with him when he came back a month later. And that was something that she couldn't have known. And when Susanna finally met Elizabeth, she saw what Elizabeth had been feeling. She said, Morgan's standing with his sister. Um, does he have a sister who's just a year younger than he is? There was no way she could have had any idea. It was incredibly wonderful for me to be able to validate that Morgan was with me through Suzanne. The two started collaborating to help other parents make that same connection. Some parents get so excited about going to psychic mediums that they almost feel like it's a drug. What she feels is really important is that parents learn how to connect themselves. That's what her support group does, helps parents find happiness and helps them connect 
with their deceased children. They're working just as hard as we are to connect with us. And the veil is becoming very thin. We have Morgan who is still with us and we feel him, all of us feel him. The parents that I've met who get it, there's this light that shines through them. And you can see the light and it comes from their kids. She's an amazing lady. Uh, helping parents heal support groups are now in 15 states and three countries. They help parents develop intuition, learn meditation, and use other techniques to connect with their loved ones. We have more information on that and on Suzanne Wilson and how to find a group, how to connect with your loved one on our website, fox10phoenix.com.